Today I'm gonna try painting a door. It's Tiffy tries, cause Tiffy likes to try things. I've always wanted to paint a door or a wall in my house and this seemed like the perfect time for me to just dive into it. So with the recent passing of my dog Ruby, I wanted a project that would distract me but also allow me to be creative and I love painting. It's a pretty meditative process for me and I wanna do more of it. So I decided to give my craft room a whole makeover. So currently the room is a mess and originally when I got the room done, I decided to paint the walls green. I have no idea why I decided to do this because every time I go into the room, the light just bounces off all the walls and it makes my skin look like death. <laughs> so I have zero experience painting a mural or anything on this large of a scale. So it will be a learning process for me. Now, originally I was gonna just start with a wall. I had already taped it off, painted it white, but I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed because it's so big. So I just decided let's just start with the door. Baby steps. So my first challenge was to actually decide what I wanted to paint on the door. Now, since it's a wood door, I knew that I wanted to have some of the wood grain and texture show through the actual painting. I started off with priming the door with a clear gesso. I did two coats of the gesso and let it dry for 24 hours in between. And in between each coat, I sanded it down so I have a nice smooth surface to paint on. So in between the drying process, I took my tablet and began sketching out some ideas of what I wanted to go on to this door. Now I knew I wanted this doorway to be a magical doorway, kind of like you're peeking into this like magical realm. And I've also really been loving soft angles and arched doorways. So I really wanted to play with shapes and shadows for this one. I also wanted to paint it purple for obvious reasons. So I wanted to mess around with the different hues of purple and and see what I can come up with. Next step was to actually choose the paint. I guess I can pull out all of my purples that I have. I got this periwinkle color and I think I have one more purple. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color first. We're gonna do the wash first uh, on the outside. I think I want to do it this color called Flower Girl. Yeah, let's try that one. Crack this bad boy open. I've never used this much paint before, so I'm kind of not sure how I'm gonna make it a wash. We're just kind of going with the flow here. Ooh, pretty color. Hey, it matches me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. It'll be easier to grab with my paintbrush. Hopefully not spill this when I pour it. Okay. Okay, it's me versus this door. I'm ready for it. Let's go. It's time to sketch it out. Now, since this was a pretty simple concept, I just used a pencil and sketched it out freehand. I didn't really do all of the details because I wanted to leave some space for me to just like free flow with the whole process. But the trickiest part for me was making sure to get the angles correctly, measuring everything out so that it looks symmetrical. So I decided to paint from lighter colors to darker colors and instead of taping everything off, I wanted to freehand this to see how straight I could actually get the lines. I was also painting with a foam brush which made it so much easier to spread the paint evenly and to get those really clean lines. Here's how the color is looking up close. I'm glad I'm starting with a lighter color first so I can like, you know, make the lines more sharp with the darker color. But, all right, time to continue painting. All right, so I did two coats of this purple. Now I'm gonna move on to the darker purple. That's gonna be the like little inside of the doorway. Okay, so the next color I'm using is called Water Hyacinth. So this first one is called Flower Girl and this one is Water Hyacinth. And to be honest with you, the painting of the door was pretty simple. I feel like it took way more time for me to do all the prepping and the sketching and the color choosing and taping. But once I got started, it seemed to flow really nicely. One day I actually decided to live stream for the first time on my TikTok because it was such a relaxing process and 
I felt like it really lended itself to a nice relaxing live stream. So once I got down all of the solid colors, I ended up doing a light wash of pink over where the clouds would be because I thought that'd be a nice place for us to see the wood texture underneath. Now the first cloud that I did, I ended up adding a little too much white and purple so the paint wasn't as transparent as I wanted it to be but as I continued, I feel like I got down the actual wash and made it look how I wanted it to. Now with the stars, I kind of just went ham with it. I didn't really draw in where every single star would be. I only left like the larger stars uh, blank and painted those so you couldn't see the darker color underneath. But I feel like I didn't really have to do this because the white was pretty opaque on top of the dark color. I was kind of surprised about that. And again, I was just super surprised at how simple and easy this whole project was. In my mind, I had built this up to be this like, scary, long taxing process. But once I got into the flow of things, it was quite simple, very therapeutic and relaxing. I also had someone in my chat ask why paint a door? And my initial response was just, why not? The more and more I thought about it, the more I was asking myself, why did I want to paint a door? I came to the conclusion that I am mourning a loss of a friend, a friend who showed me unconditional love and who was a huge part of my life. When she died, I wanted to close myself off from the world, but in her death, a door opened up in my mind and she was that key that opened my eyes, my door of creativity, love, and purpose. This door is always gonna hold a special place in my heart just because of all the pain that I was going through while painting this. And I'll always have this reminder here when I am creating art. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the process of this. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment below. Don't forget to turn notifications on because I am going to be doing a makeover for this whole craft room. So I'll be painting walls and stuff. So just turn on notifications if you want to be notified for that. And I hope you guys have a great day. I love you so much. See you later.